Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scudobuyo playing Vanilla Minecraft 1.8.7 PC Edition, and this is the 20th in a series of videos in which I conquer an ocean monument. Uh, this video is going to be a little different from the standard video in that it's not going to be an instructional video of the strategy, uh, but rather it's going to be a time lapse of me clearing the water uh, from above the entire ocean monument. Uh, so I'm going to take uh, snapshots of me performing each piece of the process uh, and uh, put it up in a time lapse that we can see from uh, an aerial perspective. Um, uh, throughout the time lapse, there's going to be uh, notes of things that uh, happened or special procedures that needed to be followed that maybe I didn't talk about in other videos. Um, uh, and I'll take care of all of those notes uh, either at the end of this video um, or maybe in the description or as part of a separate video. I'm not sure yet, but um, uh, I'll take care of those later. Uh, so let's just go ahead and begin the time lapse and uh, watch the ocean monument emerge from the ocean.
and that is it. Uh, all of the water has been removed from above the ocean monument. Um, of course, uh, all the water was removed from inside the ocean monument a long time ago. Uh, there's still water underneath the ocean monument, um, but I don't really have any incentive to remove that since guardians can't spawn there. Uh, at this point, the only thing left to do is to figure out what to do with this. Um, looks pretty nice. Maybe I'll use it as a base. Uh, could convert the inside to an experience farm. Uh, not sure yet, but um, it, was a, it was a fun process getting this far, uh, figuring out how to do everything with minimal materials. I think the uh, hardest thing that I ended up having to find was pumpkins. Um, I still have uh, some leftover stuff. Uh, somewhere I have an, almost an entire single chest of cobblestone floating around, uh, uh, even though I was using a lot of the scrap cobblestone for tools. Um, you know, bits and pieces left over. Um, there's uh, my sponges and the four remaining blocks of gold. Um, I do have quite a bit of sand left, um, although uh, almost um, one and a half double chests. Uh, although 80, uh, nearly 80 stacks of sand was left on the ocean floor, uh, which is a lot of sand, but it does uh, level off the terrain of the ocean around the ocean monument uh, to uh, to make a nice path around, uh, make the entry row really nice. I, I really like the way this looks. So I, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, if you didn't watch the little note videos that I made uh, and linked to throughout the time lapse, uh, I recommend that you uh, check those out if you plan on implementing this strategy in uh, in your own, in a survival world. Uh, there's a bit of important information in there. Uh, I'll probably shoot one more short video as a, kind of a retrospective on uh, this procedure. Um, but um, but otherwise, uh, I think I'm done. Wow, it was a long process getting here. Uh, <laughs> thanks thanks very much for watching. Uh, as always, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a note in the comments. Uh, and uh, now I, I just need to figure out how to how to get in and out of here.